Hey guys, it's Brad Barnes from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. Today we're going to take a look at our upper triangulated four link combination bracket. Let's take a little closer look. On our upper triangulated combination bracket, the lower control arm bracket is set up for a 2 and 5 8 mounting width and a 9 16 bolt hole. We've integrated a skid here to add rigidity to the bracket and also protect your joints. The skid's going to give you a nice smooth surface so you're not going to get hung up on obstacles out on the trail. For the upper control arm mount, we did something a little bit different. We turned the joint 90 degrees so it's going to be installed into the bracket horizontally instead of vertically. The mounting width's still 2 and 5 8 and the bolt hole's 9 16 the reason we turn the joint horizontal instead of vertical is because that's the strongest orientation for the joint. If you look at a suspension joint, the strongest way to apply a load is through the body of the joint. If the joint is vertical instead of horizontal, you're applying the load through the spherical bearing and side loading the joint. This really can reduce the life of your joint and it's a much weaker orientation. Another advantage of having your upper control arm joint in a horizontal configuration is the same bracket can be used at a zero degree, 10 degree, or 20 degree. It doesn't matter to the bracket, it's just pivoting on the spherical bearing. Okay guys, so here's a little rundown on how this bracket's put together. You'll notice the tab for the lower control arm bracket has a square keyway. This will be installed here in this square hole. At that point, now we can add our skid plate, which will go here. We'll weld these corner to corner, as well as here. This bracket will then be welded to the frame here along the perimeter. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to subscribe and like, and hopefully we'll see you out on the trail soon.